are so many different neighborhoods and businesses and history all put into one. All sorts of people live there, uh, from artists to young professionals, like when I first moved in, uh, to other families that are still obviously struggling to, to kind of find their way uh, in Long Beach, but it's really a great place for everybody. The first district is the heartbeat of Long Beach. You've got Pine Avenue, you have the West Side, you have arts and culture. It's very diverse and very unique. We have the birthplace of Long Beach. We have American made goods on the West Side. A generational company has been there for upwards of 60 years. We have a burgeoning, beautiful suburban type uh, area in the Washington neighborhood. And we have some of the you know, most amazing businesses, like I said, here. There is a vibe here in a city that's mu it's much different today. I know it's been over the last few years. Pine Street uh, and, and the other streets uh, along Long Beach are nice now, safe, uh, clean. Uh, it's just some place to visit. Just the, the diversity of people, the population in terms of race, culture, age, economic diversity, it's, it's a great place to live. The thing I really love about the first district is that it seems like it's never stagnant. It seems like there's always progress and always things that are, that ways that we're moving forward. And it could be something little like the scramble crosswalks or the smart parking meters, things like that. It just seems like everything is really bustling and growing and moving in such a great direction. We've been really blessed with Millworks to be um, up in the North Pine area, which I think really went through um, a unique renaissance. I think there's something about providing uh, 1,200 jobs to breathe a little life into a neighborhood. But I think we've really been embraced by both the business community, small businesses, um, larger businesses as partnerships and, um, and residents for sure. But I think our relationship with the local government has been, I mean, the best. Councilwoman Lena Gonzalez visited us. It was really the first time that a uh, city officials came and toured our facility even though we've been here for so many years. I could tell that she really loved Long Beach, that she loved what she was doing. We really felt after the meeting that we had an advocate, that we had someone who will work with us, who will help us out when we need help. And very, very, very impressed with her demeanor and how she is and how pro-business she is. People keep talking about the rebirth of Pine Avenue, and I think we got something different here. It was started uh, by Robert Garcia when he was the first council and was instrumental in helping us get our project off the ground and moved forward. Lena's grabbed the baton and she's running with it, and I would hope that it doesn't ebb and flow like it has in the past. We're not talking 10 years or 15 years from now, but another rebirth, but how there's a lot of momentum. Um, People talk about a buzz. We don't want a buzz. We want to rumble like it's an earthquake. What you're seeing is a lot of neighborhoods around and in and around the first district are succeeding, flourishing. Household income is up. Uh, home ownership is up. Home values are up. Businesses are moving in. Um, but then you still have some communities and some neighborhoods that still have a lot of challenges. And so how we kind of work together as a community to lift up all the neighborhoods, including those uh, that still are dealing with some issues of crime, dealing with uh, opportunities for jobs. I think that's the really big challenge for uh, for the first district. Here in Long Beach, there's all kinds of challenges that we face each and every day, and we're making a good dent, though, in a lot of these issues that are happening here in our community. And one of the the reasons why is the support that we get from uh, people like Lena Gonzalez on our city council. You know, she has a, a, a heart for people and, she, and and the compassion to want to really help. Housing has been one of my top priorities uh, to ensure that people have a very safe, good quality, good conditioned house, but also that we're a little bit eclectic as well. We have market rate housing that is beautiful, like the urban village that caters to young professionals. And then we also have amazing opportunities like Habitat for Humanity, who have created homes for people. The other house was very small. There was no grass over there, no place we can play, so it's better here. I just want to say thank you. It has brought me so much joy. Because <laughs> this was my mom's dream. <sighs> to have a house where her kids can play. And now we have it. So I want to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. I really appreciate this and your help. You look at the history of people from the first district, and 
and it's pretty remarkable. Uh, you had Jenny Ropesa, Juani Lowenthal, Mayor Robert Garcia. Uh, people start in the first district, then they go on to bigger and better things because they don't forget where they're from. They remain, I think, humble public servants first and foremost. But you can't get to the step two without being successful in step one. So I think that uh, you know, her legacy is going to be she improved those things that needed to be improved and she maintained the things that were already pretty good about the district. Lena's strength her greatest strength is her personality, her warmth, and her ability to work with people. I'm just thrilled that she's doing a great job and she's there to represent the people in the first district. I see someone who is not here because they want to be an elected official, but is here because they want to make things better for their city and their community. And Lena reminds me of the same passion I saw in Jenny, someone who cares so much for the people she represents and works every day to make their lives better. And that is so exciting to me as a resident of Long Beach. I think she's got a great style. I think she's very open. I think she listens to people. I think she's uh, someone that is really willing to kind of uh, talk to the community and, and really reach out to all parts of the community, which I really admire and respect about her. Um, I like that she's willing to reach out and be invo as involved in um, you know, communities um, you know, north of Anaheim, west Long Beach, as she would communities here uh, in downtown or, or, or in my neighborhood. And so I think that's really great, a great thing about her. Um, she listens, she's smart, she's kind. I would say people in the council generally really like her. She's very likable and she's my councilwoman because I, I live here still, so I feel I'm very well represented. I think the future of the First District is bright. It is exciting. Uh, all the new projects and all the new plans that we're, we're preparing for. Downtown is looking better. I see uh, a lot more community input, you know, with our participatory budgeting that we had done. And I see a lot more um, interest in coming to Long Beach, but I think it's coming to the First District as well. Uh, historic preservation is getting recrafted in the city. Uh, public safety, you know, we still have some challenges, but people are very involved as to what, ne what next steps they should be partaking in as an individual. And so I definitely see this uh, district getting better and better each and every day. And it's very exciting to see that and be a part of it.